Welcome everybody, Red Arrow 23 here, Angry G Vibe Highlight Episode number 8. Let's get pumped, let's boom some booches! Alright everybody, so before we get started, um, a few people have been asking me how to join Angry Family. Um, so the first thing is to make sure that you try and sort out your statues as soon as you can. Um, everything as much as you can offensive. You, if you're lower level, you still might need a resource reward or power stone chance. But try and get that troop damage and GBE up. Um, there's a link in the description below that will take you to a website that's got everything about Angry Family. How to join, um, the right bands to join to begin with, what kind of things to expect. So definitely go and check that out if you want to join Angry Family. And also wanted to say that I'm going to be going away for the holidays. Um, I won't be bringing out as many videos. I'm going to try and keep up with War Factory and maybe even Imitation Game. We'll see how that goes. I know everybody likes the War Factory videos. Um, Imitation Game is kind of is what it is. So let me know in the comment section below um, what you what you want me to keep releasing while I'm away from my home setup. I won't have my webcam and my microphone, but I can still do. Um, straight from my phone with using the camera on my phone. Alright, enough talking, I hate talking. Let's get into some hits. See us boom some beaches. So, first hit we have is Long Solo on Duality. Check out that damage 192%. I love it. So, let's get in. So a little bit of a friendly um, duality today, not as many rocket launches around, um, pretty much everything on the left is a single shot, so we're just going to have to shot the flamethrowers um, and rocket launchers at, and single rocket launcher at 4 o'clock and then the shock launcher over at 8. So he's got a nice flare landing, just comes up to the corner to have a quick um, nice easy anchor. And then they're all grouped, so we're just going to head over under the core, flare on, and then let's see some shocks, and let's get it down. One, two, three. So I thought he was going to be dropping some critters now, but he's smarter than me. He knows he doesn't have heaps of GBE, so he waits. Critters and shocks at the last, um, two shocks for the flamethrower and the rock launcher on the right, and then boom, down it goes. He actually nearly got it down in the first round of shocks, um, but he just needed that little bit more to take it down. And look at that, he's still got most of his Zookas. I'm going to forgive the no mech kit on the core because he's got so much damage and he just rips it, but I do want to see a med kit on the core from Long Van at some stage mech. Um, this is mech second account. I definitely want to see that. Alright, let's head over to... Nikon, he's hitting up Dredge. So I've seen a few solos, um, put up a few solos on Dredge already. Um, usually it involves something along the lines of either grabbing cells all the way around here and ending up at 12 o'clock. And other times it's just clear these mines and head up to 12 o'clock. Sort of one, two, three shocks. Yep. And then hitting the core like that. And this, the way he does it right now, is actually like an old school way. This is how I think I did my first ever solo was on Dredge. Um, and because I didn't have a bunch of GBE, you sort of need to get to a spot where you can free snipe and do it quickly. Or with minimal GBE usage. So he's cleared those mines. His rocket launchers are just out of range, so he doesn't have to worry about them. And then gets the smoke up. Obviously needs to smoke before he gets close to that shock launcher. Nice smokes. Make sure he's nice and covered. Does the double smoke at the end because he knows he's going to spread like crazy. And then a couple of shocks just to avoid all the defenses that are going to fry him. I like it. I actually would have let my Zookas run a little bit more before that reflare across to the wall. Um, so if you take out these machine guns you can actually flare back and be completely clear of anything. But it's all good, he's got some critters out, shocks the, um, shock the machine gun a couple times, and then the early medkit on the core, before it even blew up. I like the confidence. 
and I can't wait until someone mid gets the core that they can't take down. It's gonna be awesome. So nice confidence Nikon, and I love the. Um, it was a bit of a throwback solo for me. I appreciate it. Let's check out Rogue. So we got Zarnarian up first. Zaranian, sorry. Just Zar. When will I learn that I can't pronounce their name? At some stage, I hope. So he just barrages out these mines. Let's have a quick look around. So we've got rocket launchers and shield generators on the left. And these rocket launchers aren't normally here. Um, so it's the first time I've ever seen that anyway. And just the rocket launchers on the four corners as usual. So let's see what Zar does. So he's used two barrages already and an artillery over on the right. So I'd hope that it would only be two barrages, but I guess he needed that last one just to make sure. I mean, I see the guys in smoke um, do it in one barrage. Shout out to those guys. They're sick though. They're just sick in the head. If you want to see those sorts of hits, um, check out Crazy Turtle's channel. Um, he's awesome. Shout out to Crazy Turtle. Alright, so he's flared the laser and he does it all with two shocks initially. Slow down to one times and then see how he flared onto the laser first and then he by default the Zookas went to the left uh, I believe it was a mortar and they destroyed that so then he only had to one shot the rest of the rocket launchers and then he re-shocked that last rocket launcher he nearly got away with not having to throw that last shot that's nice and then he gets some critters in the boom cannons to stop the single shots um, taking out Azookas too much Normally we're not worried about boom cannons, but because there's so many, we have to worry about it a little bit. And then if you keep your eye on the rocket launcher on the left hand side of your screen at 6 o'clock, it's going to start barding that out as well. Barrage and artillery, so there's the barrage, boom, boom, And he's still taking out all those boom cannons on the right, which is giving him more GBE as he goes, and he's going to keep pounding that rocket launcher. Speed it up a little bit. He's got a couple Zuka. Oh, so he's flared onto the boom cannon. Nice. And then he's just taking out those shield generators. The key um, to this on the right hand side, so he's nearly finished the rocket launcher on the left. On the right hand side, you don't want to use um, too much GBE or any GBE really. So you don't want to be trying to clear these um, shock mines. By default, you'll get used to that. So that rocket launcher is gone. I don't mind using, say, one med kit, um, but you don't want to be using too much GBE here because it means that you're not helping out for the rest of the attack uh, for the next player as much. So then the next one, he's throwing some critters up top to get rid of those mines. That is going to be critical for the next attack, and he's just letting his Zookas walk through all these mines to clear them up. So the next attacker has a bit of a clearer path. I like it. Rocket launcher gone. Let's check out the next hit. So next we got Moving Day, our auspicious leader. Here we go, let's check it out. What do you got? So I believe he was going to try and bat out the lower four rocket launchers. See how he did. And I like what he did here with the um, using the fuel cells to uh, kind of avoid those mines. So he just let the Zookas eat up those fuel cells knowing that they would track up towards the middle of the map and then he flared right up into that corner We're running out of screen space to see these rocket launchers go down that's okay so he's cleared a couple more shock mines there we go start barraging the rocket launchers I like it and then he's just collecting GBE on the right all these fuel cells and you can see he's already gotten rid of these rocket launchers so that's awesome and there we go, last one goes down with a critter throw, because he's obviously running low on GBE, he's throwing a bunch of barrage and artilleries already. Let's check back with these Zookas, what we're going to do. And another thing that you need to really watch out for on Rogue is hidden mines behind the core. It's got me before, if you go back you'll be able to see it in one of my videos. And I really like this path. I used to take this path way too low, so like down by these fuel cells. But if you go nice and high then they'll hug that corner. And it's beautiful. So you go, they're getting into position. He's just flared right in between the crack of the rocket launcher. 
and as you can see they stay reasonably tight around that um, within that dead zone so he's just shocked the machine guns and the rocket launchers further away doesn't have the energy to shock this one but that's okay it's only trimming the edge um, so we look at the range here it was only trimming the edge but he wants to get down and get this last rocket launcher if he can or get as much damage on it as he can because he's all about the next player thinking about the team so love your work moving day set me up for a nice clear so let's check out my hip so i was fully boosted um, as we are on most of these had to barrage that last um, rocket launcher down and i actually used an artillery on a set of mines just here just because i didn't want to do a um, do some magician trick by making all my bazookas disappear and there we go following that path that was laid out before me and i'm going to flare it into the opposite corner so instead of the top i've got a nice crack here and before this attack i was tapping behind the core like crazy trying to find hidden mines because they're all maxed on this map and if i hit that if i hit one oh that's not mine that mine wasn't maxed but if it's a max mine, all your zookas are just going to disappear. So there we go. I've shocked a couple of zookas, but that's okay. By a couple, I mean like half of them. <laughs> but that's fine. All we need to do is shock that lower rocket launcher now. Because the machine gun and rocket launcher in the area are gone. And then we're going to flare down. And I realized I have hardly any GBE. So it might look like a sloppy smoke, but it's actually because I only had GBE for one smoke. So it's good, let's speed it up. And we just took out the rocket launcher and a few cannons just because we were there. And then I fled onto the machine gun because I just didn't have the GBE to get up into a free spot to start hitting the core because these doom cannons. All good. So I did my job. And now Miss G gonna finish it off. Zero losses. I like it. I love it when you get a beautiful setup like this. And it's not like she hasn't done anything for her attack. So she took out that machine gun, so it won't be at extreme range. And there's a ton of health on this um, base still. A ton of health. No one's hit the core yet. Um, we haven't touched the shield generators. Three times three. Uh, sorry, four times three there. And another four times shield generator threes. And it's got 436%. Like, there's a lot of health on here. I really wish you could see that in there. And then she's just hammering the core, a lot of critters. Just grinding it down. Some nice work, Miss G. I actually worked it out whilst um, she was attacking this, and because there's eight shield generators, and that's three GBE each, um, even though she's throwing a bunch of critters already, three, six, nine, twelve, twenty-four GBE she would have got from this, which I don't know if you know, but that's above six. So she definitely had GBE to be throwing a medkit. So don't even tell me that you don't have enough GBE for medkit. Miss G, where is that? <sighs> it's okay, we've had words since this attack. Um, I made sure that she definitely knows for next time that she needs to be throwing that medkit. Maybe we'll have to go into the background on it um, at some stage, but it's angry family tradition. So all you need to know is that you hit that, hit those medkits. All right, where is Kron again? Let's have a look at Kron's attack on Manticore. So what do we had so far? This looks like the first attack. Let's check it out. So he's got all Zookas clearing mines whilst he's walking. Here we go. So he's doing this random double smoke. Um, don't know what that's about. Maybe it's for good luck, hopefully. But I got a feeling it didn't work out. So keep your eye on this shock launcher range. Look. Oh, then we got a little bit of a peek up to the right. And there we go. Critter shock, shock, and boom! That shock launcher fired because silly Becky put her shadow over the range. Somehow, Becky's shadow went in range of the shock launcher and lured it on, which just roasted half of his girls. 
And then he's still throwing shocks. I don't know why a Kron, you actually, um, don't know if you noticed, but you got no Zookas there at the moment. <laughs> but he was thinking ahead. He didn't panic and try and bat out the rocket launches that he got. He just said, right, we're definitely going to hit these, um, need these mines cleared, so I clear them. And we can, other players can go for the rocket launches if we need them. So it was good thinking. Hard luck. Becky did not help you out there, buddy. All right. Let's flip over to the next attack. And we've got Doofenshmirtz destroying Tech Crunch. This was actually in two attacks because there was a bunch of rocket launchers um, further down. So Milk Cow has taken out these three rocket launchers. So Doof's just clearing out some mines by the core, getting prepared ahead of time. Um, so there was just a few rocket launchers around here which was going to ruin the solo. So we've gone for the flare landing. I oh, know we'll go up there first. Oh no, actually, we will go for the flare landing. Make your mind up, doof. Make your mind up. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna head up for the walk. Nice. Getting that flare right down in the corner. Not too worried about those boom cannons. Probably only got like four Zookas there. I don't know why he flared up, um, smoked up here. <laughs> Maybe there was supposed to be a flare. <laughs> oh, nice work. So used, I don't know what's going on with this boy and his flares and smokes, they're all over the place. But that's okay, we've got a reasonable amount of Zookas in the area, and that's what we need. Nice shock on the flames and shock launcher, he's going to have to re-shock that shock launcher, that's okay. And boom, just clear out those last couple of defenses in range. Doesn't even need to reposition, just smashes the core. And then he's got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven shield generators to boot, burn through. Shield generator twos. I don't know why I don't have this on four times speed. And there we go. Down goes the shield. Down comes the core. And oh! Pause it. Is that a record? I like it. Angry Family Tradition, seven times medkits. It's the world record in this video. Um, we're going to have to keep an eye out for a video with more than seven medkits. Doof is the current reigning champ, I think. Nice. Love your work, Doof. I actually didn't see this until just before I started recording. So love your work, Doof. I think that's redemption for the last episode. Um, I love it. So that's all for today. Make sure to comment down below which attack was your favorite uh, or the funniest. And give us a thumbs up if you like the video sometimes. And if you don't, and subscribe for more. Bye, bye.